federal prosecutors have issued grand jury subpoenas to associates of former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn seeking business records, as part of the ongoing probe of Russian meddling in last year's election, according to people familiar with the matter. CNN learned of the subpoenas hours before President Donald Trump fired FBI Director James Comey. The subpoenas represent the first sign of a significant escalation of activity in the FBI's broader investigation begun last July into possible ties between Trump campaign associates and Russia. The subpoenas issued in recent weeks by the U.S. Attorney's Office in Alexandria, Virginia, were received by associates who worked with Flynn on contracts after he was forced out as director of the Defense Intelligence Agency in 2014, according to the people familiar with the investigation. Robert Kellner, an attorney for Flynn, declined to comment. The U.S. Attorney's Office in Alexandria, the Justice Department and the FBI also declined to comment. Investigators have been looking into possible wrongdoing in how Flynn handled disclosures about payments from clients tied to foreign governments including Russia and Turkey, U.S. officials briefed on the matter have told CNN. The Flynn inquiry is one piece of the broader investigation, which FBI Director James Comey testified in a Senate hearing last week is led jointly by the Alexandria U.S. Attorney's Office and the Justice Department's National Security Division. Flynn was forced to resign as Trump's National Security Advisor in February after failing to disclose the nature of phone discussions with Russia's ambassador in Washington, Sergei Kislyak. Congressional investigators have also accused Flynn of possibly breaking the law by not properly disclosing a $45,000 payment for an appearance he made at an event in Moscow to celebrate Russia today. The Russian government-funded news outlet that U.S. intelligence agencies say played a key role in disseminating stolen emails intended to damage the candidacy of Hillary Clinton in the 2016 presidential election. Flynn's lawyer, Robert Kellner, has said that Flynn was not hiding anything, noting that he briefed the Dyer on his trip to Russia. As has previously been reported, General Flynn briefed the Defense Intelligence Agency, a component agency of DOD, extensively regarding the RT speaking event trip both before and after the trip, and he answered any questions that were posed by Dyer concerning the trip during those briefings, Kellner said in a statement. In March. Flynn's lobbying firm registered as a foreign agent for the Turkish government, under a $500,000 contract. Flynn, a retired Army Lieutenant General, emerged in 2015 as a strident critic of the Obama administration, which fired him. He built a close relationship last year with then-candidate Trump and became a frequent Trump campaign surrogate before assuming a brief tenure as National Security Advisor. U.S. Attorney Dana Boanti, whose office issued the subpoenas, is also leading the investigation into WikiLeaks and the effort to bring possible charges against the group's founder, Julian Assange. Boanti is also acting as head of the Justice Department's National Security Section. The FBI interviewed Flynn about the December calls with Kislyak and determined that he wasn't intentionally trying to be deceptive about the nature of what was discussed according to U.S. officials briefed on the investigation. But investigators have been investigating Flynn's business ties after he left the government and before he joined the Trump administration. A lawyer for Flynn declined to comment on the story, as did the Justice Department and the FBI, according to CNN. Flynn has been at the center of speculation by Democrats and Trump detractors since he admitted lying to Vice President Mike Pence about his meeting with a Russian ambassador before the election. Trump fired him, but blamed the media for the leaks that exposed his mischaracterization to Pence. In testimony before Congress Monday, former acting Attorney General Sally Yates said that she had warned the Trump administration about the possibility that Flynn could be subject to extortion by the Russian government based on the lie he had told Pence. She was soon fired, and Flynn resigned only after the lie became public. Flynn was later accused of breaking the law over payments he received from Russia and Turkey. House Oversight Committee Chairman Jason Chaffetz, Republican Utah, explained the charges in a statement before reporters in April. 
Personally I see no information or no data to support the notion that General Flynn complied with the law, Chaffetz said. And that is he was supposed to seek permission and receive permission from both the Secretary of State and the Secretary of the Army prior to traveling to Russia to not only accept that payment, but to engage in that activity. I see no evidence that he actually did that. Associates of former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn have received grand jury subpoenas from the office of U.S. Attorney Dana Boanti. The issuance of these subpoenas by federal prosecutors in Alexandria, Virginia denotes a significant benchmark in the developing investigation of President Donald Trump's campaign ties to suspected Russian meddling in the 2016 presidential election. The subpoenas seek business records from individuals who had worked with General Flynn on contracts after he was let go as director of the Defense Intelligence Agency in 2014, as reported by CNN on Tuesday. The development comes the same day that Trump fired FBI Director James Comey, in a move that surprised government officials on both sides of the aisle. Trump's letter of termination to Comey was vague in stating the official reasons for his firing, and included a misleading statement, given the FBI's ongoing investigation into his campaign's involvement with election interference by Russia. While I greatly appreciate you informing me, on three separate occasions, that I am not under investigation, I nevertheless concur with the judgment of the Department of Justice that you are not able to effectively lead the Bureau. Trump wrote. Kellyanne Conway told CNN Tuesday that Trump fired Cummy because he has lost confidence in him and that Trump took the recommendation of Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein, who was confirmed 14 days ago by 94 senators, and Attorney General Jeff Sessions. The FBI began an investigation in July into possible ties between Trump campaign associates and Russia during the 2016 presidential campaign. At least part of the investigation is looking into possible wrongdoing related to Flynn's disclosures about payments from clients tied to foreign governments, including Russia and Turkey. Flynn was paid $45,000 for an appearance in Moscow celebrating Russia Today, which is a Russian-funded news outlet that U.S. intelligence agencies have said helped publish and promote stolen emails that were intended to harm Hillary Clinton's president campaign. This paid appearance came after Flynn worked as director of the Defense Intelligence Agency from 2012 to 2014 under President Barack Obama. Flynn, who was a top advisor and high-profile surrogate for Trump throughout his campaign, was offered the role of National Security Advisor on November 18, 2016, just 10 days after Trump was elected president. The White House was warned by former acting Attorney General Sally Yates that Flynn could be essentially blackmailed by the Russians, according to her testimony before a Senate Judiciary Committee on Monday. Yates testified that she told White House counsel Donald McGahn that she had information that statements by Vice President Mike Pence, made in reliance on his conversations with Flynn, were false, in a meeting that took place on January 26. We weren't the only ones that knew all of this, that the Russians also knew about what General Flynn had done and the Russians also knew that General Flynn had misled the vice president and others, Yates said Monday. The statements by Pence that Yates was referring to were made during a January 15 interview on Face the Nation. Pence said that based on his talks with Flynn, he did not believe Flynn had discussed U.S. sanctions against Russia for election meddling with a Russian ambassador, according to a timeline by CBS News. Flynn had been sworn in as national security adviser on January 22, four days prior to Yates' conversation with McGahn. Flynn resigned from his position as national security adviser on February 13, after holding his role for only 23 days. Flynn's resignation letter included the following statement. I inadvertently briefed the vice president-elect and others with incomplete information regarding my phone calls with the Russian ambassador. I have sincerely apologized to the president and vice president, and they have accepted my apology. Flynn's attorney, Robert Kellner, declined to comment. The Justice Department, the FBI and the U.S. Attorney's Office also declined to comment.